everybody and welcome back to Mooji Plays Pokemon Crystal Version. Today we are going to go through the Ilex Forest and then make our way into Goldenrod City and we start off encountering a Venonat, which is an adorable little bug poison type. So it is weak to flying, fire, rock, and psychic attacks. And next up is another new Pokemon, Psyduck! It is a pure water type, making it weak to grass and electric attacks, but a bit of a thing to note, Psyduck and its evolved form tend to learn a lot of psychic type moves, but they don't get the psychic typing to them. So if you want a Pokemon that naturally learns psychic type attacks without actually being a psychic type for some reason. Psyduck might be a good choice, depending on your definition of good. And now we have to chase around this far-fetched. Am I going to go over its uh, weaknesses just yet? Nope! Because it is not in a battle, and we are not, uh, um, um, but, um and we are not fighting it at all. And, uh, now, uh, in the remakes, um, they change up the puzzle a little bit. Uh, you have to find two far-fetched, and, uh, you have to step on these, uh, piles of branches in order to get their attention so that you can sneak up on them from behind. Now, this one, um, just talk to the far-fetched and get it to, um, do the thing and uh, but uh, if you move around the way I did you should be able to get it to come over and now this guy is thankful that we got the far fetched under control or at least running in his direction and uh, this guy is going to give you the HM for cut as thanks because it is his far far-fetched. And uh, another thing you might want to do that I do not do in here is uh, if you go back to Azalea and uh, the house that these guys are in, it's uh, just to the right of the gym, I believe. If you go and talk to them, you can get a charcoal from them, which is good for boosting up the power of fire-type moves if you have a fire-type Pokemon. And this is an Oddish! A poison grass type, which is weak to fire types, and also ice, flying, and psychic attacks. It's an adorable little weed thing in it. And, uh... Now we cut. And, uh... Mm, oddish. And, uh... We move around, and there is an X attack, which, uh, while I personally don't use them, it might be good to stock up on them because of the next gym. So, uh, if you think you might, uh, need a use for them, uh, go ahead and get a few. I'll explain, uh, either... Part 9 or Part 10? I'm gonna lean towards Part 10 is when I get to the third gym. And if we make our way over here, we can... be interrupted by a Venonat just before I talk to the guy. And, uh... Another difference between versions, uh, in this version, uh, this guy just gives you a TM for headbutt, but uh, in the remakes, uh, he is—he acts more like a move tutor, and um, uh, you have to go to him every time you want him to teach your Pokemon headbutt. And uh, if you are gonna keep Togepi, headbutt might be a good move. It's stab for Togepi, and. Uh, In the remakes, if you happen to get a Togepi with the ability Serene Grace, it, it's going to inflict flinching more often, so... It'll be 
pretty good. Or if you just want to put it on a normal Pokemon or any other Pokemon that can learn, um, Headbutt. It, it's a fairly decent move for this time of the game. And this guy, uh, I believe they took him out of the remakes, uh, and I don't know if he's in gold and silver, but, uh, he's here right now, and, uh, he has very weakly level Pokemon. That is one thing that drives me nuts about this generation, is that I've got two badges already, and they keep throwing Pokemon at me that aren't even at level 10. It's like they don't... It... This is just me. Okay. But, uh... The single-digit leveled Pokemon at this point in the game really makes it feel like they just... They just don't trust you to be more powerful at this point. And it's just... Ugh. It just drives me crazy. And, uh... Yeah, as he's... As this guy has said, that if you use headbutt on those small trees that are darted around this place, uh you'll have a chance of knocking a Pokemon out of the tree. And, uh, if you knock it out at night, it'll likely be asleep, which is pretty neat. And, uh, you can get some Pokemon you couldn't normally get that way. And Sweet Scent! I, I like this move, uh, and I was a bit miffed that they, that this lady didn't give you Sweet Scent in the, uh, remakes, but, uh, Sweet Scent basically is... In battle, it lowers the evasion of the opponent, but outside of battle, if you're standing in grass or a cave or water, and you have your Pokémon use Sweet Scent, uh, it will force a random encounter with a wild Pokémon. So, uh, if you're looking for a specific Pokémon that you don't feel like walking around the entire place. <sighs> you can, uh... You can just stay in one place and, uh, you sweet scent uh, over and over again, which would, uh, be really useful in a safari zone sort of environment, but, um, in the older version of this generation, uh, there's no safari zone. There's just a, uh... Well, I'll get to it when, uh, we get there, because it's right after this next city, but, um... In the remakes, they managed to squeeze in a place for, uh, the, uh, s safari zone. Yeah, a, a place to the map to allow for it. And, like, again with the levels, it's just... It's just mainly the way I play. I like to grind to a crazy amount. Normally, first gym, I try to be at level 13. Maybe 15, if I'm not confident with my team. Second gym, I try to... Be at level 20. But, uh, this gym... Is only... What was it? Level 15? So... My team can afford to be lower, and... In this generation, I don't even feel the necessity to be at level 20 until the third gym. Which... I... I just... I just don't like that. It just... Doesn't feel like they're challenging me enough, but... They do... At least make up for it by, uh, having the third gym leader have a very annoying strategy that works. That's the only thing about this game. I just wish the levels were higher. And new Pokémon! Snubble! It is a pure normal type, so it is weak to fighting. And, uh, I think 
around the time that uh, this game came out, I I uh, viewed Snubble as uh, a dog's person equivalent to Meowth. Cause well, it looks like uh, what what Pitbull, I think. And, uh, yeah, and it's all pink and it looks like it has a frilly dress, so it's, yeah, it's like a little pit ball. Because I don't think there were any real dog putting on in the previous generation. And, uh, let's see. That's all that guy has. And if we go over here, up north, we run into that guy. Ah, <laughs> my ear is itchy. <laughs> I want to itch my ear, but ugh. Mankey, pure fighting type. So it is weak to flying and psychic, uh, psychic attacks. Uh. It uh, dun ba ba. And he's going to have another new Pokemon. An adorable little. Diglett, which is a pure ground type, making it weak to water, ice, and grass. Now, something to note specifically about Diglett is that, uh, unlike most other ground types, Diglett has a focus on speed. So, if you want a speedy ground type, uh, you might want to pick up a Diglett. Though, um, I don't think there... I don't know where a Diglett would be available, at least before the Elite Four in this game. I <sighs> should probably check the uh, Pokedex. And here is an interesting little lass. Well, picker, technically. But, uh, this girl is important for your, um, Pokegear. Uh, if you register her phone number after the battle with her, uh, she will occasionally call up to give you a special item. Now, what is that special item? It is a Leaf Stone, which can help evolve certain Pokémon, like Oddish, if you wanted to get a Vileplume. No, don't use the Leaf Stone on Oddish. Oddish has to evolve first before you use the Leaf Stone. Trust me. And she has another new Pokémon. Bulbasaur! A poison grass type, making it weak to fire, ice, flying, and psychic. And for those of you who are brand new to the world and have never been experienced and have never been exposed to the Pokemon world before this LP, which. Why am I your first? Seriously, I only have 17 subscribers. How could I be your first exposure to the Pokemon series? But, duh. Bulbasaur is the original grass type starter Pokemon. And it is the very first Pokemon in every national Dex. In every national Pokedex. So... Ooh! New Pokemon! A Growlithe, which is a pure fire type, making it weak to water, ground, and rock attacks. Now, uh... As you s can see there, it used Roar, and uh, in the area that you can catch these things, they like to use Roar a lot, so it might be a bit annoying trying to catch one. And uh, I want to say if you're playing Silver version, instead of running into Growlithe, you'll run into Vulpix, and they also have that Roar attack on them. And it's not really an attack, it doesn't do any damage, it just 
forces you to switch Pokemon in a trainer battle and in a wild battle, it forces you to flee. And, um, there is a chance that you can resist a roar, but, uh, I don't know what causes the resistance or if it's just mere missing. But, uh, Fauna shall use Peck to finish off this relic. And a bit of a note about this trainer. Uh, he will only attack you at night, which is a lucky thing that I happen to re be recording footage when my game registered this is nighttime. So I could show this guy off. And uh, I believe there are three trainers in this game that only fight you at night. At least uh, before the Elite Four. And uh, at level 20, Spiro evolves into Firo. Its types stay the same, so its weaknesses stay the same as well. And, uh, probably the, uh, cooler version of the flying Pokemon, depending on, uh, your tastes, uh, concerning Spiro and Pidgey, at least, uh. And here, uh, this guy is also important if you want to pick up numbers for your Pokegear. Uh, if you register his number, he will let you know if the Goldenrod Department Store has a rooftop sale. Now, what is so special about the rooftop sale? It sells items that you would normally uh, not be able to obtain if you didn't trigger the sale. And, um, if he calls you, telling you that the sale is on, I believe that the sale will be active for the entire day that he has called you. But, uh, other than that, uh, I do not believe, uh, there's... I don't remember what items the sale sells, it's been forever since I've on to one. But uh, with that, we are going to enter Goldenrod City, and I am going to see you guys next time!